I have been on the hunt for the perfect ballet flat for a year and a half now, ever since they truly hit the runway back in the beginning of 2022, back on the trend hit list, ballet flats have been on my radar. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Weldon and it is about time we get back to doing some fashion here and fall is the perfect time to do so. If you like some classic pieces and some timeless wardrobe combinations, this is the channel for you. Now let's talk about these flats specifically. I purchased them so these were not in any way gifted, but I know that they have worked with other creators before and I'm putting that on my inspiration list, but let's dive in. These are from Margot. This is a US company and these flats are manufactured in Spain. The reason why I really love them and my first impressions of unboxing these were incredible. I'm gonna go have to get the wrapping for you to show you is they are genuine leather which means we're going to avoid a lot of that smell that is associated with flats that I know very well just from wearing different random flats in high school and I love that they also have a heel. The cushion on the bottom of these is so comfortable and the sizing is extremely inclusive insanely inclusive you should be able to find your size sweeping declaration and it is so rare that i make claims like that here on the internet because it's a scary place to be when you do that but what i have loved about these is they have those half sizes now in european sizing i will say it's always good to almost half size it up i ordered a 38 and a half and i am a true 38 and a half foot which makes finding shoes sometimes a little difficult. I wish I had ordered these in a 39. However, because they are genuine leather, I am not worried about it. They still fit. I could just use the tiniest bit of wiggle room. So I'm gonna show you how I plan to style these in my wardrobe. The way that I introduce new things into my wardrobe is knowing if it's gonna really fit with what I've already got going on. And these are some timeless classic styles that I found on Pinterest that gave me all the inspo. So let's dive right in. Okay, so I think that I absolutely nailed this one just based on the fact that this top is so similar to the one in the Pinterest photo and I love this look with flats and to my point earlier too when I was talking about sizing I think I mentioned that in the intro not the outro but I have been wearing these for a little bit just inside the house. They have not even graced outside yet. And I've already noticed that the leather has molded to my foot and they feel so extremely comfortable. So I might even take that back and say 38 and a half or 39 would be perfect if you are someone with a 38 and a half foot. Um, yeah, I love these trousers and this top. They're both from Holland Cooper, the In The Fro collection. And as well, this Teddy Blake purse is Italian leather. So we've got a little bit of Spain, a little bit of Italy, but both in the camel are definitely something that will go far in your wardrobe. I have worn this purse with so many different outfits because it's so versatile, which makes me 100% believe that these flats are gonna go far too. Let me know what you think of look one. Let's move on to look number two. Okay, you guys, this is officially the outfit number two. I love this suit so much. It is one of my favorite purchases I've ever made. It's a Shauna Joy suit. It's really held up and I found that it's extremely mixable and extremely matchable because of the quality. Now, maybe you're not one to go for a powder blue, but I just think that it, it just makes me feel so cool. And anytime that I'm going to an influencer event, I'm like, yep, that makes sense. I'm going to wear that suit because it makes me feel so, so good. So again, it's from Shauna Joy. I love that there's the adjustment on the back and I think it looks so cool with the ballet flats. Just look at myself in the mirror here. I love how the brown matches perfectly with the buttons. Now if you did have a vest or a suiting option that had black buttons, you may want to opt for more of the black ballet flats, which I definitely think I want to add into my wardrobe. Matching it with my Teddy Blake bag again, it just kind of makes sense, especially because we're going for that monochromatic look. I don't want it to be, you know, too crazy, especially because I'm wearing the powder blue. But this one is definitely in my outfit options. I'm going to take a photo of this so that I don't forget this, especially if I'm heading out to an event and I have no idea what to wear. This is such a good go-to and with the ballet flats, it's the chef's kiss. Because sometimes you just don't want to wear heels. I actually feel cooler in this outfit wearing these flats. It's a winner. So this is outfit number three and I think it's really giving a weekend in the Hamptons. One thing that I love about the ballet flats specifically in this outfit is the fact that I've owned these Levi's wedgies 
four years now and I do love the way that they fit around the booty and you know the waist the way that they come up but one thing I've always hated about them is how they are kind of that flood length like how they just cut off at the ankle because I am someone who has maybe thicker ankles in my opinion and yeah I've just never felt comfortable with wearing kind of something that gives that quote-unquote meat sandwich where you have the bottom of your pants a little bit of skin and maybe a booty or something like that. So I think that these actually really elongate that leg, elongate that ankle, because it's giving that little bit more skin all the way out until the bow on the ballet flat. Something that I riffed on a little bit is I added the Holland Cooper belt, which I always really love adding an extra tan accessory. Now, because I didn't have the perfect tan bag or I didn't want to go kind of too crazy on the tan accessories, I did my Chloe Tess in the Motley Gray. And I really think that it, it goes so nicely and it just goes to show that if you really do pick up pieces and accessories that are in that neutral tone, you can definitely find kind of that cohesive thread, whether that be through the hardware being gold on gold or just the neutrals going really nicely together. I really love in the inspo photos how they kind of play with the dark being the main feature as well versus the light in this case. And yeah, I think you really can't go wrong with a nautical sweater. I'm not gonna put it on for this look because in the next look, that's how it features really prominently. So here is officially the next outfit. I love this one. And I love the gal behind the inspo, that is Claire Rose. She gives me so much inspo, especially when it comes to very neutral dressing. But the way that this sweater matches perfectly with the skirt, that is just serendipity within my wardrobe specifically. I feel like that monochrome look always just is so chic, but you could do this in anything. Say you had a black sweater and a black skirt, you could totally do that. I love the way that it matches just so sympathetically as well with the ballet flats. And because my inspo pick, she's wearing black flats, black sunglasses, black bag. I'm pulling in a few of those details with my Chloe Woody tote. Now, because the Chloe on the side is black, but we also have the tan leather, I feel like it just goes so perfectly because those two leathers are quite close. They're a little bit off. The Chloe one's a little bit more ready, but I feel like I am loving this one. Let me know what you think down below and if you would wear something like this, trust me, it is so comfortable. She has it fully out as well. I tucked it a little bit into my bra, the trick that we all learned 2021 off of TikTok. And I just feel like it gives me a little bit more structure. But if you want it to be totally flowy and on the go -y, <laughs> this is what that would look like. Look number five is so beautiful and Something I'm really glad I'm glad I'm testing it in my wardrobe. Look at how ridiculous this is. So I have a box in the back of my belt because my belt is too big. I need to buy one of those punchers on Amazon. Please drop one down below if you have purchased one and you love it. But let's just ignore that that's happening. I love incorporating the skinny belt. Again, one of those perfect accessory basics in my wardrobe that I feel like makes outfits look more expensive than they are. Skinny belts just have that elegance to them and the tighter nautical top as well, I think just makes this look look so beautiful. Now, some of you may be put off by the white top and the cream bottoms. It doesn't bother me because we are pulling that thread with the camel accessories, but please do let me know if that is something that bothers you. Maybe this look is a bit more suited towards you if you do have that full monochrome or you're going for even a blue trouser. Now I do have blue trousers in my wardrobe. Dan trouser from Cezanne, they are in navy, so that would match perfectly. We could still pull the tan accessories or not because I don't think those ones actually have belt loops. And the flats would look stunning with that well as well. With the woody tote, it just matches everything, whether you have black or tan. And again, my cost per wear for that is so, so low. I can't recommend this bag enough. I will also link that down below. Hello, day six. This outfit is definitely inspired by Chanel by bringing out the textured blazer, that little cutoff. I love this look and I haven't thought to put it together, but yet it is so basic and so simple. Now the jeans I've selected are different from the ones in the inspo pick and that is why it is so fun to shop your own wardrobe and iterate on what you see online. So do that even for this one I'm showing you here. So these ones are nice. They're from Cezanne. They're nice and long if you're ever shopping pants at Cezanne. Because they are nice and long and we have a crop jacket, I feel like that actually gives us some really nice balance. I am introducing you to my new baby. That that is right, she is new. Look, I don't even have 
<laughs> I don't even have the wrapping off of her completely yet because I want to film something separately to welcome her to the purse fam. But this is the Chloe Marcy and I have been coveting this color forever and Essence had a crazy sale and it was snap gone in a second. And so I'm happy to have her, but this outfit, I feel like works so perfectly. I would for sure wear this out. I'm excited to take a photo of this one. Let me know what you think. If you have a tiny little jacket, it does not have to be like this. Say it's a little crop jean jacket or just a nice little white jacket or even just a crop little blazer, this formula could 100% work. And I think ballet flats finish it off in such a feminine way. So for this first formula, I think that this works really well because it is pumpkin spice latte season. It is also trench girly season. I have this Fendi pair of sunglasses, Chloe Woody toe, nice little trench, got the ballet flats on. That's a really good formula. And I think that you truly just can't go wrong with that combo. Now for the next two jackets, which I'm going to keep in number seven, I wish I actually had a black pair of ballet flats, which inches me closer to doing that purchase. <laughs> this one specifically, is where I wish I had a black pair and I've been slowly seeing that in through trying out these outfits I really feel like I'm getting an education on my own wardrobe now again in this outfit for the inspo the jeans are more of that straight leg cut off so I think that would also do me well with this outfit formula but just showing you the basics with a black or contrast to the t-shirt blazer I think this is really nice pulled together it does have some nice depth but let me show you with the white blazer white definitely feels like it makes a little bit more sense just because of the hue of the ballet flats and the white on white this is definitely a nice outfit I just don't think that it's particularly me which is giving me a really good education in this video itself of where I really see myself wearing these pieces and where I see gaps in my wardrobe or pieces that I really think I could pass on to someone else. The whole point in this number seven was basically to show you that different outerwear pieces can definitely pair so perfectly with ballet flats and the trench is a huge one in that. We are officially on number eight and I feel like this is such an easy formula that you can replicate again and again and I'm going to show you this in a two-parter. So we are matching of course those pieces I already talked about the Teddy Blake bag but with the oatmeal top this is from H&M it is one of their classics that I feel like now season after season they're coming out with again and again and I also have it in this charcoal gray they wash amazingly they do not break the bank and I wear them the most in the fall and winter out of anything in my wardrobe okay so clearly this all goes together perfectly the ballet flats stunning these are Zara jeans by the way let me take this sweater off this is from that inspo photo. And it's one of those moments where I think, Amanda, how did you not think of that yourself? Because it's so simple and basic. And that's why this research is always so nice when you're shopping your wardrobe. Black t-shirt, as well as my Celine belt, which is so nice to have her have a moment, but also the moment where I realize, okay, having these tan flats is amazing, but I also would love to have a pair of black ones because this with black, a little black side bag, so elegant, so chic, so simple and a 100% win. I could also do this outfit with a tan belt and a different color t-shirt and that would be perfect for the tan flats. I just really wanted to see how the black would look and I love it. Let me know what you think about this one. It is so funny how the last one really felt like it needed black belly flats but in this one I am so comfortable and keen on how this looks with all of the tan accessories and I think that's maybe just because we're used to the white shirt and the black pants just act as a base versus part of the building blocks almost of the outfit I am so in love with this a nice crisp white shirt very different from the rails one that we were wearing earlier this one's from Holland Cooper and these pants are from Aritzia they're part of the denim forum collection and I really think with the raw edge, it adds a little bit of coolness factor to this outfit as well. And just the way that they're cut, not tight around the ankle, not a straight leg, a little bit of a flare. And then the roundedness of the belly flats adds that femininity that I think just is amazing. I literally just walked into Scotty's room and said, isn't this such a good outfit? This is so chic. So without a doubt, this is going on my must wear list for the future. Side note, I have been loving putting this video together. I feel like I know my closet better than ever now. It's amazing. So this is number 10. I'm gonna show you two different dresses actually from both of these outfit um, inspo photos. This one is really inspired by that first photo, just long dress, nothing breaking it up. 
you know, just nice monochrome neutral going with the camel as well as the tan ballet flats. And I took a little bit of a closer peek at this photo and it looks like she's actually putting a striped sweater over her shoulders, which is amazing because what I want to show you here on this channel is how we can have those wardrobe basics look elevated and beautiful and go the extra mile. And I've already shown you the sweater. I think twice or three times already. So this one is just adding to the cost for wear of this sweater to go the extra mile in those wardrobe staples. Let me know what you think of this 100%. I would wear this outfit and I can't wait to see the next one because I've been waiting for a pair of shoes that could pair perfectly with this dress combo that I've been wearing all summer. The second dress is a shirt dress. I was inspired by this photo to get more of a flowy, kind of crepier type of dress. Now this one has pockets, it's from Shauna Joy, and I absolutely adore it. But if you just look at it like this, it kind of looks like a sack. So let me show you how I style it. If you're looking for elegant style, do not sleep on shirt dresses. They are amazing. It's absolutely perfect with these belly flats and the next time I wear it, 100% I'll be grabbing for them. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. I am always so thrilled after I do videos like this because one, it helps me shop my own wardrobe. Two, it helps me just think of different combinations that I haven't thought of before. And three, it helps me really decide whether I like an incoming trend, an incoming piece to my wardrobe. And this is what I highly recommend to anyone when you are introducing new things to your wardrobe, especially when you are spending maybe a premium price point and you really want your pieces to stand the test of time. We are in our multiple wear girly era and I absolutely love it. On my mind currently is always going to be the Chanel ballet flat. That is kind of where this trend really lives rent free in my mind, that two-toned. So that is a pair of flats I am on the lookout for now that I've decided yeah, this is definitely something I could wear on a daily basis. They are so comfortable. Two, they have a blue pair that I'm also obsessed with that is gonna match a new bag in my wardrobe perfectly. And three, I think a classic black pair would also do. And that's gonna basically get you sorted for so many outfits, depending on where your style is. But I know on Margot, they have tons of different colors. Give them a try, I highly recommend. Again, this is absolutely not sponsored, but I have fallen in love with this company and I truly cannot wait to repurchase. And even just reading a little bit about the vision behind the company and the women who started it, I am obsessed. I hope you guys are doing well and I hope you like this video. It's so nice to be back doing videos like this. And if you've made it this far, please do subscribe. Please do become part of this cozy little nook of the internet. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.